Alright guys, I don't really feel like doing any crazy video here today. I just want to tell you that we've hit a bottom in Monero. Not necessarily in Bitcoin, but in Monero. And I'm going to explain to you why, even if Bitcoin nuked all the way down to $8,000, okay, Monero still wouldn't take out this low. That's my opinion. That's my prediction. Okay. Now, one, I don't even think Bitcoin's going to get down to $8,000. But I'm just saying, even if it did get that low, Monero still wouldn't take out this low. So I do believe the bottom is in for Monero. I don't necessarily believe it's in for Bitcoin. Okay, and I'm going to explain to you why I'm so confident that even if Bitcoin went all the way down to $8,000 per coin, Monero wouldn't even break this low at $97. So let me show you why. Okay, so if you look at the chart of XMR over Bitcoin, okay, which is Monero priced in Bitcoin instead of US dollars, you're going to see obviously this long term bullish chart that we've talked about for the longest time. Okay, so let's zoom this out to the weekly. And I want you to see what's happening here, okay? This is huge, and nobody's talking about it right now on the internet for some reason, besides a few of us here. Okay, so you've got a double bottom right here, which is a two-year double bottom, right? So price tried to go lower two years straight past this 0 0.0035 level, and it couldn't. And you have a four-year downtrend, four-year bear market for Monero in the price of Bitcoin. And we're just breaking out of this bear market, this four-year bear market okay this is the beginning of something massive this is the beginning of something huge okay and so you got to realize Monero is just exiting the bear market which lasted four years not priced in USD but priced in Bitcoin and that is huge okay so what you need to understand right now is we're just leaving the the bear market price in Bitcoin Monero is going to continue to gain dominance and close the gap in distance between itself and Bitcoin and so it's in a very strong position now where if Bitcoin dumped okay 60 percent Monero is probably only going to drop 30 percent how do I know that well because you can see since the beginning of 2022 which is where we hit that second bottom and this Monero bull run has really started versus the price of Bitcoin okay you're going to see we went up over a hundred percent versus the price of Bitcoin, right? Price in Bitcoin. So this means that if you held Monero instead of Bitcoin since the year 2022 has started, you doubled your Bitcoin just by holding Monero. So once again, it's 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 outperforming Bitcoin by double. Meaning, if Bitcoin dumped 90 percent, okay, based on the strength we've seen since the start of 2022. You know, Monero is probably only going to drop 45% because it's dropping at two times less of a rate that Bitcoin is. Okay, does it make sense? So it's very simple to understand. But basically, that's where I'm going to show you next, right? Let's say a lot of people are saying we're going to hit 9 to 12K, which I think, I don't think we're going to go to 9 to 12K because everyone in the world thinks that. And I just think that, look, when we're at 69K, everyone's saying 100K. When we're at 19K, everyone's saying 3K, uh, 8K, 9K, 10K, right? So once you get to the endpoints, uh, people become very extreme, uh, and usually the extremes are not the, the correct uh, points of data that are going to be like the, the most likely point to happen, right? Like the extremes are always the least prob probable events to happen, right? That's why they're extremes. So now the extreme is 3K Bitcoin. 9k bitcoin right these are the extremes but the extremes are always the least likely thing to happen and so when everyone here is waiting for 100k and everyone here is waiting for 9k you know those to me are the endpoints right uh, of like a what's that thing a bell curve distribution i'm not i'm not a genius i suck ass at math right but like these are the uh this is 100k and this is 9k you see and then th the probabilities are that you're probably going to land anywhere else right is much more likely for the bottom you see so anyways I probably shouldn't be talking about bell curve distributions because I'm a fucking idiot when it comes to math and I don't know jack shit about them so I mean honestly just ignore what the hell I said but basically the point is okay if Bitcoin were to drop 60% right from where we are today that would get you all the way down to 7.8k guys Monero is is doubling the the performance of Bitcoin, right? So what's doubling the performance? Doubling the performance means Monero would only drop thirty percent. Okay. Well, 
Guess what? A 30% drop in Monero does not take you past the low and the bottom that we already set. Okay, you can see from today's price, if we drop 30%, that only takes you down to 109. Okay, so you would actually not break that low. And that's what I'm saying. In the most extreme case and in this bell curve distribution, right? Right. like I said, everyone thinks 100K, everyone thinks uh, freaking 9K, right? And so, you know, I don't know. 9K does seem a lot more reasonable than 100K in my opinion, but that, that's an opinion. I'm not going to I'm not gonna comment much more on that, right? But if everyone thinks that, anyways, I'm saying this is the worst case scenario, right, is you go all the way down there. Uh, you know, some would argue the worst case scenario is you go all the way down to 3K. Uh, I think there's no chance in hell you go down to 3K. We already hit 4K in 2020, and uh, that's just, I don't see you going below that. Okay, so... Um, I would say 9K would be the, the end of this bell curve distribution. If I'm using bell curve distribution wrong, then fuck me, guys. Once again, I'm not a genius at math, but I, I feel like I get the concept without being an expert on it, okay? So anyways, um, if, if Bitcoin dropped here 60%, which in my opinion is the most extreme case, okay, Monero is probably only going to drop 30%, and that doesn't even take you past the low, okay? Now, what if Bitcoin were to only drop down to where I think the bottom would be most likely to occur, between 14 and 16k guys that's only 19 to 29 percent drop right so think about it if, if Monero is outperforming Bitcoin by double and Bitcoin dropped 30 percent which is where I would think the most likely bottom point would be okay then Monero is probably only gonna drop 15 percent guys that is how strong and insane this chart is okay people don't understand this no one's talking about this Okay, this is literally going parabolic, okay, since the start of 2022. So, the strength is real, and, um, yeah, guys, I, I don't know what to tell you besides, like, look, if Bitcoin dropped all the way down to 14K, that's a 30% drop, okay, well, Monero's going to outperform it by double, means oh, probably only going to drop by 15%. 15% 15 drop in Monero is going to get you how low? Okay, it's going to get you down to... <laughs> It's only going to get you down like 130, you see? So we have already hit the bottom in my eyes in Monero, and that is why you want to take advantage of the massive value discrepancy here, okay? Because although Bitcoin has not hit its bottom most likely, Monero, we can very easily see that it very likely has already hit its bottom. And combined with the fact that you have a five-year cup and handle, okay? A three-year bull flag right here, okay? And CBDC is coming in 2023, I'm telling you, this is a setup of a lifetime, okay? Because you know, look, cup and handle, breakout, boom, bull flag, breakout, boom, headed into what? A real fundamental real world event and catalyst, CBDCs, okay? So this is huge, and I believe hugely in, in what we're seeing here in the price of Monero, and I believe in the strength uh, that I'm seeing in the charts, and that's why I'm telling you, I think the bottom is already in in select few assets, and Monero is one of them. I don't think you can say a lot of assets have bottom, but I think you can absolutely say that about Monero, okay, which is crazy because everyone's been waiting. When are we going to hit the bottom? When are we going to hit the bottom? Well, we've already shown you why it's very, very, very likely Monero has already hit the bottom. So start taking advantage. You know now where's the bottom in something, right? Because to this point, everyone's wondering, Oh my God, are we going to go to 14K, 16K? Are we going to go to 9K, right? And so for as long as you don't know the bottom, you can't deploy uh, capital confidently. But you see, when you know where the bottom is, you can now very uh, effectively and very confidently deploy capital, right? You see, so now we know, hey, if I were to buy right now, this second, I've got 37% downside, okay? And it's very unlikely we're even going to break that low, right? You see, so it's a beautiful thing to know where your bottom is and be confident in that because if you're not confident where your bottom is, you're going to be very emotional and freaked out and all over the place most likely because you might buy at 16K, but be scared of shit. It's going to drop to 8K, 9K, right? And so then there's a lot of panic and a lot of emotions there. Whereas Monero, you can be confident the bottom is already in, which limits your downside and your risk and it puts you in an extremely favorable position with this massive five-year cup and handle, three-year bull flag, okay? And CBDC is coming in 2023. This is the greatest, this is one of the greatest plays of a lifetime, guys. 
and um, it's going to close the gap in the distance between itself and Bitcoin quicker than a lot of people think, okay, because that is what the charts tell us, and that is why people who are asleep, people who are not paying attention, are going to look back three to four or five years from now, and they're going to say, oh my God, it was so obvious in a world of uh, full of surveillance, I should have known that privacy was important, I should have known that, you know, Monero was Bitcoin, but better, you see, Everyone's going to say it's obvious in the future, but they're not going to say it's obvious right now. Well, I'm telling you right now, in the very beginnings of this happening, this massive shift and the breakout of this four-year bear market in the price of Bitcoin for Monero, it is early, okay, and it's just happening. And we've already found our bottom in Monero. Guys, I'm saying that as someone who's overall still bearish on the market, and I'm saying that as the greatest predictor to ever set foot on this planet. So take it. For what you, whatever you think, guys, I'm telling you, five-year cup and handle, three-year bull flag, CDC in 2023, Monero at 155 today. When we hit 3,500 plus, people will say it was obvious, and you were lucky. And you are lucky. You are lucky because you stumbled across the greatest predictor to ever step foot on this planet. While you're, that, that's my breakdown here, why we've already hit a bottom in Monero, and why this is one of the biggest plays of a lifetime, and why I am bullish now, guys. Even though I think Bitcoin can get down to 14 to 16K, um, I've got a beautiful setup here and Monero. I don't even think we're going to break that low. So what is my downside? It's risk. It's capped as fuck. Let's say 30% downside. Okay. I think we're going, uh, to a thousand bucks minimum. Okay. Look at that. That's a setup right there. Okay. And once the train leaves the, 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 the station boys, good luck hopping on. Okay. I, I just want you to realize the difference. Okay. Let's say Monero's at a thousand bucks. Okay. So let's say I want to buy 10 Monero at a thousand bucks. It's going to cost me 10,000 bucks. Right. 10 Monero at 1,000 bucks will cost me 10,000 bucks. Right. Very simple. Okay. Do you know how much you can get 10 Monero for right now? You can get it for 1,500 bucks. Okay. 10 Monero will cost me. 1500 bucks right now okay like that is such a massive difference think like you're gonna have to pay ten thousand dollars for ten Monero soon and you can get it for right now ten Monero for just fifteen hundred right now like that's insane to think about for me okay and um, yeah and people know me as a bear people uh, you know say I'm bearish or whatever and I have been I've called a top Shorted it, called the dump to 47k, called the dump to 46 uh, to 26k, 20k, and here I am being stupidly bullish, not even stupidly bullish, very reasonably bullish too, actually. And you know, how many people are gonna uh, are gonna believe me? I don't know, but you should because you should you should figure out by now that when the greatest predictor to ever step foot on this planet makes a prediction, you listen, okay? You 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 stop what you're doing, you listen, okay? And that and that's the truth. People who do that, they make a lot of money. People who go against me, they lose a lot of money. Okay, you don't bet against the greatest predictor to ever set foot on this planet. Okay, and that's why we've already hit a bottom in Monero, and this is a huge play. Okay, so this is my favorite long-term play, guys. To me, this is just like buying Bitcoin at a hundred bucks. Okay, so this is huge. You're welcome. That said, we also we are trading the market short-term. Okay, so. Here's a trade I just got us into in the uh, Crash Alerts Telegram channel. I told everyone markets are closed this Monday, but this is the long setup. I'm going to take this uh, headed into Tuesday. Okay, so I sent everyone this setup here. Here's my stop loss. Here's my entry. Here's where I'm taking profit on Litecoin. Okay, so we went long on Litecoin, and I showed everyone my stop loss here uh, at 56.8. So we're also trading the market short term, right? So here's a long term play. Okay. And here's a short-term play that we're taking in crash alerts. Okay, so obviously I can help you in the long term uh, by giving you this play. But if you also want to trade the market short-term so you can add to your long-term bags, okay, come join us in crash alerts. Okay, we'll help you make the profits. We'll help you make money uh, trading short-term movement so you can add that to your long-term movement. All right, guys. Uh, my name is Crashes Clay. I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you make a shitload of money when I'm right because I believe I will be right. And I believe this is a play of a lifetime. And I believe that Monero is the best cryptocurrency on the planet. But that's just an opinion. It doesn't really matter if it is or not. The point is, this shit's going to 5x plus, And you get to buy it at 150 bucks when soon it's going to be at 1000 bucks. Like, that's what matters. Okay, so anyways, guys.
Uh, if you want to join the Crash Alerts Telegram, I'm going to leave some steps below. Anyone can actually join the Alerts channel for free right now, thanks to BitGet. Uh, BitGet is being, they're doing a very generous offer, and anyone who sets up a, a trading account on BitGet and deposits $1,000 into the trading account, BitGet's actually going to get you guys into my alerts for completely free for one month. So I'm going to post the steps on how to get in for free below in the description of this video. That way you can take advantage and get in uh, one month for free thanks to BitGet. Okay, so guys, I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.